Hello. <laughs> so my name is Taylor. Um, I'm 17 years old and for those of you that don't know me, I am a model with Jim Jordan and I just want to tell you guys my story and how um, everything started with me and everything um, about me because I get a lot of questions, people asking me and stuff. So um, this is my story. Um, I was scouted in Granby, Colorado, um, really close to by where I live, and um, I was maybe 14, I think, and he came up to me and my mom in a dude ranch, which is kind of like a horse ranch where um, people stay and like clean horses and like take care of them, kind of like they own one. It's just like get an experience, I guess. And um, he came up to me and my mom and he was like, uh, have you ever thought about modeling? And I was like really young and kind of like confused as to what that even meant because I didn't really think I could ever be a model. I was not very confident when I was younger. I was, uh, I used to think I was really ugly <laughs> and people don't ever believe, believe me when I say that, but trust me, I had like really like long, straight, like frizzy hair and like glasses and I was like super awkward and skinny and tall, like that was my life. <laughs> and then I kind of uh, was growing into myself when he found me and he was just like, you could tell he was legit because he asked my mom about it and like was talking to her more and he was telling me like all these things that I would be able to do and like she's going to fly around the world and go to Paris and walk in fashion shows and like be one of the biggest models and I was just, I didn't really believe it, I didn't really know what to think of it so um, we just kind of waited a little bit and like talked about it with me and my mom and my dad and just kind of went over it and was really trying to like think what it would mean to like start this because it would be a really big sacrifice because I didn't live in any of like a major city where fashion was uh, like a big thing. I lived in like Colorado in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and um, I guess I just decided to go with it because it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity and nobody gets to really um, try like travel the world and like meet all these people and do all these really cool things. And I was just like, all right, well, let's see what happens. Like, let's go out to LA and let's meet him and let's do a shoot and see what happens from it and I go out there probably in like March like right before my 15th birthday and I did a shoot with him with Jim and um, that was my very first photo shoot ever and I don't know if you've, if anyone's ever seen the pictures but it's like a white backdrop and I have like really straight hair and I'm wearing a white tank top and that was like one of my very first photo shoots and when I look at them I remember how young I was and like <laughs> how inexperienced and I just had no idea what was going on. I didn't really think anything would happen of it, but I was there for maybe about a week and he sent me out to different agencies. I went and saw like LA Models and Wilhelmina and um, Ford and by the end of the week, like they all gave me contracts and they all wanted me to be with them and I was just kind of like in shock kind of because I didn't ever really believe that it would like do anything, you know? I was just kind of like, oh, I'll, I'll just go out here and then go back to school and whatever. And then I decided to go with Ford because I just really loved their atmosphere and I love everybody there and it's like a family to me and everyone's so sweet and like my booker there, she's like the best and she's, everyone's always been there for me and supported me and stuff and so that was the, the very first agency I ever signed with was Ford and then I um, as I got older and more experienced and I worked a little bit more, I did like Kohl's and all that stuff and like learned to be in front of a camera and then um, when, when I was like 15 and a half, it was time to like expand my horizons and then I went to New York for the first time. Not the first time I've been there before, but it was my first time for modeling and I went and I saw like seven agencies in like three days and I remember I stayed in this teeny tiny little hotel room that was like 60 square feet and it's like a little closet. Like there was like a foot from the bed to the wall and that was my room. Me and my mom went and we just went around all day and like toured New York while we did this and just went to like five agencies a day of like three days and I went and saw like everybody there and um, I... In the end, like when I met with IMG, I was just kind of like blown away by like how passionate they were about it. And 
in the end, I just decided to go with them because you just want to be with the person or the agency and the people who are the most excited about you and you feel like you will not be forgotten. And it was a really big struggle because IMG is such a huge agency that people always would say getting lost in the crowd. But I haven't experienced that because really they have a great team and it's like a family there. And all the models, I'm like friends with so many of them and it's really like, it's a great, I'm really glad that I went with them. And that was one of the other agencies that I've signed with. And Jim also helped me a lot with that too. He definitely put up a lot of those appointments and I couldn't have done it without him because I would have been going to like open calls and um, all that stuff. And it was just like... It was really good because he really helped me throughout my journey, which is awesome. And then after that, you know, everything just kind of fell into place. I got signed with Storm in London, um, IMG in Australia. They also signed me in Paris and Milan. And, and then I did Fashion Week in New York And once I turned 16. And then everything just kind of from there just like rapidly kept climbing and climbing and climbing. And then next thing you know, like... I have people asking me questions about like modeling and they're like oh my god like how do I do this and how do I do that and I'm just like it's really cool because I like to help people because I my journey is I went through it with somebody helping me you know and I couldn't imagine doing it blind with nobody there for you I have definitely had it very very nice and I'm so blessed and I love everybody in my life for it so that's basically my story <laughs> Bye. <laughs>